guys, so today I'm here to bring you my June hits and oh God knows two fun facts for you. Number one, I feel very naked. I never wear something so revealing and I'm like, <laughs> okay, a lot of skin, a lot of skin. <laughs> Second thing I do have, oh God knows this month. <laughs> All right, so without any further ado, let's go right on ahead to the first hit of June. All right, the first hit of June for me absolutely was the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask. Now I know everyone has been talking about this. I know they're coming out with a special Sonic the Hedgehog Blue Edition. I'm talking about the silver one. I got this back when I was in LA about three weeks ago and Mom, I'm in love. This right here is that famous silver chrome mask that you see on a lot of gurus and a lot of personalities out there. And this mask is especially made to lift and tighten the face. And baby, I am 22, but I feel like I need that in my life. <laughs> when I put this on, first of all, highlight on fleek, your entire face is like a chrome silver goodness and selfies are necessary once you wear this mask. I just feel like this mask really tightens my pores, minimizes the appearance of my pores, and it just really tightens my face and you feel so like, oh my God, I feel great. It smells like a coconut dream. I really highly recommend this one. It's so good. And I cannot wait to try the blue edition one. We got a lot of tongue twisters today. My tongue does not want to cooperate with my words today. Oh my God, I sound like a dentist. Done. The next product is by Artise, and this is their brush cleansing foam. Now, if you don't know what Artise brushes are, this right here, the little shower heads, the weird looking brushes that you see all over. And I do like these. So I bought the cleansing foam because I wasn't really sure how to keep those brushes clean. So I was like, okay, let's just add it to the basket just in case you really love them and you don't know how to clean them. So I got this. And literally what this is, is a foam, look. It's a foam, it comes out as foam. And then you take your dirty brush and you go in the foam and you kind of wipe it on a towel and like see how the dirt gets rid of everything. So just keep swirling the brush, keep swirling. Just keep swirling, just keep swirling. And look, absolutely clean. There is no trace of eyeshadow, dirty eyeshadow anymore. This cleansing foam is so good. I've been using it on all my brushes, on the Artiste brushes. I think this is an amazing cleanser for your brushes and I highly, highly recommend this. Next up, the Celique Solstice Highlighting Palette. Everyone has been talking about this as well. I first got to know about this from, I think it was Manny and I think Manny got it from Jacqueline. <sighs> Listen, when I heard them talk about this, I was like, yeah, right. No way something so affordable can be so mind-blowing amazing. Well, maybe it is. And I was skeptical about ordering it because I knew that this color right here was a creamy one, but I wasn't sure if this color right here was, because let's be honest, this color is too dark for me and I'm not gonna walk around with lavender cheeks every day. So I wasn't sure if I should get it because I thought this color was creamy as well. But after hearing so many people rave about this, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna order it and see for myself. And it came in and thank God, thank the glowing gods, this color is a powder. And this color right here has been all over my face forever this month. Just the glow of this is insane. I'm wearing the glow today. If you're blinded, it's because of this. It's just such an affordable, high quality, amazing highlighter palette. It comes with one cream shade to really intensify it when you use it as a base. And all others are powdery. We've got a lavender, more bronzy, and a really, really light highlighting shade. And honestly, you guys, I think this is my favorite product of the year so far. Some other affordable products I've been really, really loving are the Milani Amor Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. When I tell you these are metallic, they are metallic. I did that liquid lipstick only uh, challenge, makeup challenge, where I did my entire face using only liquid lipsticks and these were amazing as eyeshadow as a metallic lip i've been so obsessed with metallic lips you guys can you tell so these are my three favorite colors the first one is chromatic addict second one is materialistic and the third one is automatic touch these are just let me swatch them for you these are just on another level. What I love most about these is that they're so pigmented, so easy to work with. They stay on like a dream. They're not drying. 
plus they are a metallic heaven. And if you wanna, you can even apply these as an eyeshadow base underneath a like really shiny color to really intensify them because they will stay put. I'm obsessed with these. I think Milani really showed other brands who's boss with these because these metallics are, I think on top of the metallic liquid lipstick scene lately, this is like, heaven. Some eyeliners I've been loving are by Sephora, the Sephora collection, and these are the colorful shadow and liners, and they come in a glitter version, matte version, shimmer version, a lot of versions, and these are my four favorites right now. First one, of course, white. These babies stay put so well. The problem with my eyes is that I can put stuff on my waterline, but for some reason, the product won't really catch or grab onto the waterline, which basically transforms anything I put in my waterline into a watery mess. So I need something that is like super, super waterproof and hard to get rid of, cause my eyes will get rid of it. I will do a swatch. This is the white right here. And I'm telling you, if I'm letting this dry, I will not get it off without like really scrubbing my skin. You just have to use an oil-based eye makeup remover and they're right off but once you let them dry they're in there i also really like the shimmering pink i think it's so beautiful for on the lid inner corners the silver is perfect to highlight inner corners with as well center of the lid cheekbones you got it and then this blue one right here is so bright and intense it will get all the attention you want. So let me quickly get rid of it before they're set, but these are so amazing. I highly, highly recommend them if you have sensitive eyes that water, if you put anything on the waterline, cause these will really stay put. Okay, what I'm about to talk about are the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders. Now these have been all over my Snapchat this month cause they rock my world. These are loose diamond glow powders created by Mac daddy and if you follow me on snapchat you know what actually let me just insert a clip here of my snapchat story where i swatch these warning wear sunglasses <laughs> Mm-hmm, I know. These diamond glow powders do not play games. These are so amazing. I paired them with my sleek highlighting palette a couple of days ago. So my favorite three colors are Gold Digger. This is that white goldish one that looks amazing on fair skin tones. Illuminati, which is a little less stark as Gold Digger, but still equally as blinding and amazing. And yes, not just because of the name, but also because it's just a beautiful, beautiful, more pinky highlighter color. I'm obsessed with these. I'm so obsessed with these. I mean, these paired together, oh, Oh baby. Oh stop it. Oh quickly before I forget, I really want to mention the Benefit Total Moisture Cream. This has been, I don't necessarily love this as my uh, skincare, but this, applying this before you do your makeup will really make the makeup melt into your face beautifully. And just all makeup just goes on so beautifully onto your face when you have this on as a moisturizer before you start doing anything. It's not a primer, it won't keep your makeup on longer, but it will just make everything works so beautifully. So a quick mention goes to this amazing moisturizer by Benefit. Another product I've been loving is by MAC. This is their Mixing Medium Eyeliner. And I found out about this because of Alyssa Ashley here on YouTube. And when I first found out about her, I saw her apply this as a base for eyeshadows. So she just uses like a paint pot or Urban Decay primer potion as a base for all over. But then after she applies her crease colors and goes in with the lid color, she applies this first to really intensify what you put on the lid, plus keep it there. So I was super intrigued by that because I have hooded eyelids and sometimes my eyeshadows do like to travel upwards and it looks like a hot mess. And sometimes I just feel like some eyeshadows need a little bit more help to pop. And when I put this on as a really thin layer underneath my lid color, it really grabs onto it and makes it pop and almost makes it look kind of like metallic and chrome and 
insane. So I've been really liking this to put on my lid right before I put my lid color on to really make it pop and keep it there all day long. The only downside with this is if you use too much, the eyeshadow will crumble and will flake off throughout the day. So make sure you use a very thin layer. But other than that, this stuff is bomb. I also quickly wanted to mention this Morphe 12NB palette. I've been wanting to get this for forever. You know, I love my 35O, all matte, all shimmer original, 35F, you got it. <sighs> But I've never really seen a lot of people talk about this baby right here. And to me, this is like the 35O on a travel size compact ready to go. So I got this in LA three weeks ago and I have not been able to put it down. It's like a staple neutral eye palette that works for so many skin tones. It's got all these amazing colors. They're super, su I mean, super pigmented. They're so insanely pigmented, you guys, it's insane. And for this price point, I think it's amazing that Morphe is able to create such high quality pigmented stuff. I know I talk about Morphe a lot, but I feel like at this price point, they create such amazing products and this palette too is so handy for on the go or if you just want a couple of neutral shades for your everyday wear and this palette's got you and just let the pigmentation do the work for you you barely have to try it's such a good palette. All right, so that are all the products I've been loving for the month of June. And I've had so much fun playing with it all and falling in love with it. But there are some products that I didn't fall in love with. Oh, yeah! No. My first oh god note this month goes to the ColourPop Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. Now this hurts me because I'm such a ColourPop fanatic. I think ColourPop make amazing products for their price point. They're pigmented and easy to work with and so affordable. So when I saw that they were coming out with metallic liquid lipsticks, I lost my freaking tits. So they came in yesterday. I was super duper excited to swatch them on Snapchat. So I go ahead, do my swatch and I'm like, hold up, what's going on? So the first one I opened, I open up and I'm like, okay, I, I barely see like product on top of my applicator. So I'm like, okay, sure, whatever, that can happen. But wait, like honestly, I'm putting so much pressure on this applicator. I don't know what is going on, but it, to me, it almost feels like a mousse shimmer eyeshadow, like a shimmery mousse eyeshadow, like in those tubes after six years when they're completely dried up and unusable, this is what they feel like. I'm like, I'm like, I almost feel like the applicator can't pick up the product, but then people told me to swirl and still nothing is happening. So I'm like, okay, that's just me. That might be a faulty one. Let's just try another one. So I open up another one and watch. It's the same. It's so inconsistent in application. It is so, dry it is like literally playing with a dry almost powder like liquid lipstick i love ColourPop, and i was so excited because i saw these on their instagram and i lost my everything and then when they came out and i got to play with them and saw this i was disappointed and i really hope i almost feel like the product needs a little bit more oil maybe to make it more liquidy and and to give it more coverage but i don't know i don't create cosmetics i don't know what the hell i'm talking about but i I feel like there needs to be something moist in here. Um, so I feel like ColourPop has to work on that. Damn girl, no. Okay, next up is a shock to me personally, cause again, I was so freaking excited to try this out. I ordered it myself, was so excited to try it out and it came in and I was gutted. I'm here to talk about the Pat McGrath Skin Labs highlighter in pink. I love the gold one. I think the gold one is so much more interesting than this pink one. My problem with this is it is $78. Now, of course, it comes with a creamy product to make it more intense and a brush, but for $78, I expect this highlighter to burn my eyes out. Of course, I might be a little bit biased because I love glow. I love a burning glow that is like, hey, I'm here, notice me. I think it's amazing as an eyeshadow topper to transform an eyeshadow. It's cool on the brow bone, but not for $78. I feel like for $78, I expected something super buttery and reflective and just out of this world. 
and like honestly ColourPop has highlighters that look exactly like this. I think it's called Monster. It looks exactly the same and is a lot more affordable. So I'm not attacking Pat McGrath because I think Pat McGrath is the best makeup artist on planet Earth. I'm just not the biggest fan of the pink highlighter. So that's it guys. That were all my hits and oh god knows for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned I use, go to my description box below or NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial with the beloved Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. When I got this palette, I'm gonna be honest, I was like, that's a lot of red. But then when I finally started playing with it, I am so in love with it.